real quick, I want to thank sponsors video being Tokyo Treat and Securico. So Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese subscription box where you'll get 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Where Securico, you receive 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware. So this month's Tokyo Tree and Securico box have a Tsukimi box design. Tsukimi means moon viewing, and it's a Japanese festival celebrating the autumn moon in September for expressing gratitude for a good harvest and hope for the next year. The Tokyo Tree theme this month is Moon Festival Munchies, it's seasonal and Exclusive Japanese snacks inspired by tsukimi, such as salt lemon Kit Kats, McKinnon strawberry waffles, and orange McCann mochis. There's a lot of really cool items, and the box looks awesome. And while there's lots of cool items, one of my favorites is the Pandero Melon Cookie. Beautiful smell of like honeydew melon. And then the Securico theme is Kyoto Moon Festival. So partnering with the local government, you can experience the cultural and culinary rich snacks of Kyoto, the birthplace of Tsukimi celebration in Japan. And they all pair perfectly with this month's tea. And one of my favorites this month is the Kyoto candy, which is actually exclusively hands made by a craftsman for Securico. Mm. This one's plum. Each box also has a cultural guide booklet, which tells you all about the snacks and what's in it. I was amazed how informative and how much I learned about the Japanese culture this month. So for awesome snacks and a cultural experience, definitely grab yourself a Securico or Tokyo treat box. Stay using the links down below. And actually you can even save $5, just $5 off your first box by using the code Joel. To help support the channel, get $5 off your order. Like I said, click the link down below and use code Joel. And that, let's get the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we are outside Kobe, Kobe. There you go, wait, Kobe, Kobe, there you go. Fusion restaurant here in Belleville and or Bellyville, Washington, basically outside Seattle, here doing their massive ramen challenge. So for this monster bowl ramen challenge, you have 30 minutes to complete the bowl. Where some of the difficulty comes in is you only have five minutes, five, five minutes to let it cool down before you have to start. Now you can add in ice, you can um, really cool off by any means necessary that you would like, uh, you just, essentially have to eat it after the five minutes starts and that's when your 30 minutes start um the challenge is 30 dollars and now if you do beat it the meal is free and you need a 100 gift card so pretty cool we'll definitely head on in have some fun wish us luck this is a very big 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 ramen challenge um here with good friends we have mr adam adam a seattle local or my good friend mr scott as well scott is doing the challenge adam is here for moral support so always appreciate friends coming to hang out with us and uh that's about it guys so you want to follow those travels definitely check out julieats.com also cop yourself some merch but that let's go in let's have fun these food and that's about it let's go eat Hi everyone so here we are with the big bowls of ramen they're absolutely giant 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 to be honest these bowls seem to be a little bigger than uh, the ones advertised on the sign. That being said, we also had a lot bigger bowls because they didn't have enough bean sprouts. The only way they, the only way they would do it is if they substituted the same volume of bean sprouts for noodles. And since noodles weigh a lot more than bean sprouts do, this is a lot heavier than normal. So this is a very, very, very large bowl of ramen. Um, you could go with a shoyu or a uh, like a soy or a pork broth. I went with the soy broth, so I went with the pork broth, which is my favorite. I really like that broth. I went with this one just for YOLO, so it's a little different. Um, but that's about it. So we are going to have 30 minutes. We have only had five minutes to let it cool down, to which that time is currently going. So at any moment, this gentleman is going to say, hey, get started. We're going to have to get started. So Scott, ready to eat some ramen? Yeah, absolutely. Love ramen. Well, let's have some fun. Let's eat some food, guys. Noodles, nonetheless. When we're here, we might as well do it. So. Let's get started here just momentarily. Three liters of broth, Woo. loads of noodles, loads of bean sprouts, and it is definitely still steaming, so this will be interesting, everybody. Nonetheless. All right. Nonetheless. All right. So, how about we get started? Let's hit the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us go.
Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Kobe Ramen, yes, in Belleville, Washington. I like to say Bellyville, but anyway, nonetheless, basically a suburb of Seattle here doing their big ramen challenge. So pretty high stakes being a $100 gift card if you can complete the challenge, and it does have a $30 price tag on it, but again, you do actually get the meal for free should you win it. So we had 30 minutes to complete this big bowl of ramen, but we were only allowed a five minute cool off period, which adds to the difficulty. What that means is once they give you the ramen on the table, your five minutes start. Now, once you actually you know, have the ramen, you can put ice in it, you can put um, ice packs, you can basically do whatever you want to cool it down. Looks like they're able to find the some green sprouts in there. So, a little crispy, which is nice. I actually don't think I've ever had ramen with bean sprouts in it before. Yeah. I've had a lot of pho with bean sprouts, so it's kind of different. Yeah. Or if I have, there's just been so few that I haven't realized. Whew, a lot of hot liquid, everybody. Traditionally, they put a equal part volume of ramen, noodles, and bean sprouts, but when we showed up, they're like, we only have enough bean sprouts for one to do one challenge, and we're like, hey, how can we go about this? Because obviously we both wanted to try this challenge. So essentially what they end up doing is they put extra noodles. So ours were uh, heavier than normal, because again, per volume, like ramen noodles weigh more than bean sprouts, but nonetheless, you know, we just knew this would be an extra difficult challenge. You do also have to drink the three liters, yes, three liters of broth. Excuse me. Excuse me. Overall, in regards to a ramen, you know, challenge slash bowl of ramen, it was good, I would say. Um, I mean, it was pretty bare, you know, pretty standard. Basically, it's just noodles and bean sprouts, more or less. You do have your choice of broth. Um, but yeah, pretty like solid, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess, you know, if you can do it, again, the $100 gift card prize is really well worth it, especially you live in the area. So it's not bad. A lot of broth, holy crap. Yeah. I feel like I'm just drinking. Woo. The staff were friendly, and like we said, there was this was overall a good bowl of ramen. Um, not sure if there was a record or not, um, but like we said, we we're just hoping to get under that 30-minute time limit. Um, and actually, I think Randy Sintel was the first one to ever do this challenge, but he did it, I want to say, back in like 2015 or something. So it was definitely a few years ago. Might have even been like 2013 or 14. It was apparently one of his first times being in Seattle. Um, but everybody, let me know uh, what kind of broth you like in your ramen. You know, kind of a more of a pork broth, more of the basic soy broth. Um, like I said, comment down below your favorite ramen broth. Mine is actually the uh, the pork like Scott got. I actually asked them if they would mix the two for me, the, the pork and uh, soy broth, and they said no. So that's how I ended up with the soy broth. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, all really good. So comment down below and let's see what happens. And we 
you're done. So now just right behind me. Probably right about six minutes, 18 seconds, something along those lines. And there's a big bowl of ramen, guys. Very, very big. It's very hot, too. Very, very hot. Ooh. My body temperature is through the roof. Ooh. This guy's just finishing up. That's big. Definitely bigger than I expected. I'm very full. Whew. I'm getting full too. in it um, during the cool down period which definitely helped quite a bit um, I put a couple glasses like this and those are 20 ounce glasses so definitely a liter plus of ice Scott did the same like I said even then it was hot real hot oh man it's at my body temperature through the roof normally I run cold so like an individual likes the heat but Right now, I'm running hot. I run hot. Comment down below if you run hot or you run cold. I'm always cold. Right now, hot. Nice. So I just finished up. About 8.22, I believe. Yeah. Good job, dude. Crushed it. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. That was a lot. Of ramen, that was a lot of ramen. This is a big, big, big bowl. From that huge thanks to everybody here, guys. Uh, you know we are in Bellyville, Belleville. However you want to pronounce Belly it. Bellyville, right? I like Bellyville. It's, it's the way it looks. Um, so basically, just outside of Seattle. Um, but yeah, really cool location here, guys. The staff is very friendly. The restrooms are actually beautiful. Just on a side note, the restrooms very beautiful. For that, we do get the meal for three, the thirty-dollar ramen meal. We also do get one hundred-dollar gift card pretty cool um but that's about that guys so thank you for watching um scott any words no 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 just uh, it was really good it's nice and filling come down here try it out yeah. thanks for having me it's big i'll tell you that it's very big um that being said he said there's about almost a 10 percent success rate um although i think that's maybe a little skewed because i know you know a number of individuals such as randy santel maybe this guy right here who's done it before so anyway, but yeah, really good. Uh, no complaints. It was solid ramen. This is excellent, everybody. Of course, a happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Again, get yourself a small bowl. Don't get this big bowl. And of course, the next time. Have a lovely day. So here we are. Now leaving Seattle, but. Everybody's wondering kind of what Seattle looks like. It is um, often a little cloudy, a little rainy, not always. It has lots of green. And this is the highway. Uh, I will say Seattle is actually very beautiful. This is not just an accurate representation. I think we're going to drive a little bit uh, more past the like legit kind of downtown core, I'll call it. So I'll show you that. But uh, yeah, kind of little bits of Seattle. All right, and here we are. This is some of the, let's say, more of a overlook of Seattle. And over here we have the actual downtown. And there's the Space Needle right there. That's the what they call the Seattle Space Needle. Uh, don't know the history of it, so I'm going to comment the history down below. But it is definitely a great big tower. And then right by the other kind of more downtown core of Seattle. And then here we have some more of these, like, uh, really nice overlooking homes. Um, right by the water of course but yeah so there you go that's kind of the uh, a bit more of the real downtown Seattle core of course there's a drive-by we do have some little more footage of us being down there before if you go back on my channel look up Seattle you'll be able to find some other videos such as like a fudge challenge we did there and a burger challenge or two 
And there's some more uh, kind of fun, exciting clips there. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.